Nasa groupers are endangered throughout the Caribbean. They and other reef fishes aggregate to spawn at special sites along the reef. Belize has enacted important legislation that will conserve these sites and help sustain viable fishing and tourism industries. The legislation protects 11 spawning sites as marine reserves, which are closed to fishing all year round. These sites are Rocky Point, Dog Flea Key, Sandbor, Key Bokel, South Point, Emily or Key Glory, Northeast Point Glovers, Gladden Spit, Nicholas Key, Rise and Fall Bank, and Seal Key. A closed season for the NASA grouper has also been enacted from 1st December to 31st March of the following year. This is patriarch fisherman Jack Young's view on the closure of the spawning banks. They will benefit. It might take, it won't benefit like two years or three years. It might take a little while, but you're definitely going to benefit from it. Instead of your, you know, your fish them out on your your grandson or your great-grandson would only see a group on picture. they never see a live one or even be able to catch it. No NASA grouper less than 20 inches and greater than 30 inches in total length can be caught. This should protect the juvenile groupers and allow them to reach maturity and reproduce at least once before they are caught. It also should protect the very large groupers, or big mamas, that produce lots of eggs, thus helping the population to recover. To be able to enforce this measure, a new regulation also requires that all NASA groupers must be landed whole. Also, all other fish landed as fillets must have a skin patch of 2 inches by 1 inch so that the species can be identified.